At the beginning, I didn't even know what it was. I would look at myself in the mirror and it was good to pop my pimples, squeeze the pores on my face or touch my skin. And I thought by doing so I was improving my appearance, but the redness, bumps and wounds started to accumulate and I ended up with injuries, scabs and even permanent scars. This is the very rough journey of many women and men with skin picking disorder or dermatillomania who are still being ignored. And that's the reason I created this video here, to help you with the easiest and fastest way based on real science to overcome this situation. And stay until the end because I have created a 100% free gift for you. My name is Nicola Zanetti, I am a qualified nutritionist, chief therapist at LinkUp Health. I'm also a senior nutrition lecturer and at the same time a three times health best-selling author. In the last five years, the scientific community has found very, very important elements related to skin picking disorder. Unfortunately, this has not been shown and has not been discussed enough just yet. And as you can probably see from my face, I have personally suffered with skin picking disorder when I was a young man. This was a long time ago and I still bear some of the signs and the scars. Fortunately, I have not touched my face in a compulsive way for the last 25 years. And I have analyzed all the papers and I really mean all the papers that I could find, which by the way are more than 100, to try and find the reason or the real reasons behind this condition here. And I'm going to present them to you in this video. And maybe this situation is familiar to you. Maybe you're upset, maybe you're hungry, maybe you're really annoyed with something and out of the blue you go in front of the mirror and you start to touch your skin. And what happens? Well, you start to feel really good, right? But this comes with very severe consequences. Because like one cherry leads to the other, which leads to the other, skin picking is the same thing. Often when you start, it can take half an hour, one hour to actually stop. And sometimes you can do it once a week, twice a week, or even every single day. And again, this is going to have a very, very powerful consequence on your skin, right? And many times the advice that you receive doesn't really help. What's the point of telling you, take, keep your hands still, just go for a walk, take deep breaths. All of these situations here are not really helping because they don't go to address the root cause of the issue. And sometimes these advice can actually be damaging. Why? Because this do-it-yourself approach or this like generic advice actually makes you believe that you are at fault. Okay? It makes you believe it's due to your willpower, it's due to something that you're doing, that you can't get rid of the situation. The reality has been shown that that is not the case. And it's not the case because science has been able to prove that the brain with someone with skin picking disorder often, not all the time, but often processes a molecule called dopamine, which is the molecule of feeling good, the reward, in a different way compared to the brain of someone who does not have skin picking disorder. And if you want to take away one very important aspect of skin picking disorder, this is the most important one. Skin picking disorder is not your fault. Why? Because in skin picking disorder, there could be a change in the way your brain biochemistry functions compared to someone without skin picking. What does it mean? That sometimes you pick without having a choice. And it does not stop there because some people may actually have the genetic tendency, which can, by the way, be tested towards skin picking. So if your brain is working in a different way or if you have the genetic tendency, is that actually your fault like many people would make you believe? The answer is no. And I want to clarify an important point here. Genetic does not mean destiny. Please repeat with me. Genetic does not mean destiny. Even if you have the genetic tendency, you can absolutely get better. Now, in many cases, the brain with some of its skin picking processes dopamine, this reward molecule, in a different way. What does it mean? That the more you pick, the more you want to pick. And therefore, this is a problem that needs to be addressed at the level of the biochemistry. And to clarify, skin picking disorder is not your fault, but living a fulfilling and beautiful life, it's absolutely something that you can do. 
right? Now, obviously, a quick video cannot completely solve skin picking disorder, but in the video description, I have left a free gift for you to help you in your journey against this condition. In the past few weeks, I have worked on this ebook to give you all the right strategies to deal with skin picking disorder in a very easy to implement way. And to make it even easier, I have added a video guide which will support also the PDF to make this journey the easiest possible for you. So you can click in the video description to get access to the mini ebook and the video guide right away. This is completely free. It's all easy and it's all free. You can find all the links you need in the video description. For now, have a beautiful day and bye bye.